these mountains are old, originating as island arcs and continental fragments in the Pacific Ocean. Rocks contained in the Klamath Mountains date back as far as the Paleozoic era, 500 million years ago. After colliding with the North American plate some 200 million years ago, the mountains were formed with five very different rock types. Natively granitic, sedimentary, metamorphic, and extrusive, as well as igneous from the volcanoes of the Cascades to their east. As they decomposed into sediment, this created a wide range of soils and altitudes, supporting an incredible diversity of ecosystems and plant life, many species of which are endemic to the serpentine soils of the region and largely unchanged since the Eocene period over 40 million years ago. In fact, a square mile segment of Klamath Mountains contains 18 different conifer tree species giving it the greatest known conifer diversity in the world. Just north of there, still within the Klamath Knot, colorful peaks rise above a maze of rivers. This area, known as the Marble Mountain Wilderness, contains examples of all five rock types in the Klamath including actual marble limestone, which forms much of its namesake, Peaks. The marbles are a fire-prone region, as well as a fire-dependent one, relying on wet winters followed by summer droughts and frequent small fires to stimulate its plant life. However, as with many areas, the dry season has been getting longer and hotter, with fires often burning far beyond their natural boundaries. When combined with historically strict firefighting practices, this leaves huge swaths of brush and mature forest ripe for an inferno. A greater emphasis on clearing and controlled burns could potentially save a lot of larger fires in the future. We saw smoke in the background of some of the mountain vistas, but thankfully not close enough to put us in any danger. One of the largest draws of the Marble Mountain Wilderness is its natural lakes, boasting 89 in total. We took the Lover's Camp to Sky High and Shadow Lakes loop hike, which led us 30 kilometers over two days through the forests and meadows of the region, past four lakes, and up over a kilometer in elevation to where we joined the Pacific Crest Trail. In September, the meadows were rapidly changing color, with the yellows and ruddy oranges of fall overtaking the summer greenery. The weather was already getting colder. It was lovely for hiking, but I couldn't quite bring myself to jump in the frigid lakes although we still took plenty of time to admire them. We kept finding mysterious large tracks and dung along the trail, which turned out to be the marble's final surprise for us. We heard them before we saw them, a small grouping of belled cows, apparently here on grazing permits authorized through the Forest Service. Although care surely must be taken to avoid excessive damage from the cattle to the local meadows and water sources, I found their little group adorable. We heard them follow behind us for much of our return journey, their little clinking bells a motivation for our tired legs until we made it back to our car to head home and get some rest before our next adventure. <laughs>